All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the You Feel Me podcast. I am here as always, your usual, Jamar, next to my right. <laughs> Got your boy Season here. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, sir. It's your boy Levi Jeans. We back. And you already know it's MK Styles. What are we talking about today, boys? First of all, it's our 40th episode. Shouts out. Big 4 Shouts out. Big 4-0, you know what I'm saying? Thank you guys so much for, you know, being on this journey with us and still supporting us and... Yeah, cheers to many, many more. So, and actually, recently we just touched 600 subscribers. As that's well. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. milestone week for us. You know what I'm saying? Came a long way. A lie. So yeah, how's every man been? How's every man's week? Psst, my week was amazing. My week was amazing, man. Yeah, well, I heard. <laughs> I, I, I. You know what I mean? Shit. I finally got to hear Kendrick really just say, "Let's fuck these niggas up this year, mm-hmm. man." I guess we're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it then. So that Kendrick. shit, like, you know what I'm saying? And I love Drake. I love Drake. He makes great music. You know what I'm saying? And he's from the city. Mm-hmm. But Kendrick's just, you know. Kendrick shaped me back when I was younger and I'm listening to his mixtapes and his albums and shit. So it's like, you know, and they always had this beef brewing. So it's like, let's get to it, man. Yeah, let's let's talk about it, though. You know what I'm saying? So whose t- it was what, Metro Boomin's? Yes. Was it a collab album? I, I think I it guess was, it's a collab album. It's just him and Future. Oh. Yeah, Metro Boomin and yeah, Future. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Honestly, we I'm not going to lie. We don't trust you. Yeah. That's we, what's called? We don't trust you. That's, That's what, what that was called. Yeah. Say it That's Oh, insane. shit. You think that was all towards Jake? Yeah. I think so, so. Wait, 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 wait. So you guys think the whole mixtape was like a... It's like a diss. Oh, shit. I guess so, yeah. Okay. Why do you think they don't trust him? Come on. some like pillow talking shit online. I don't know. Do we really have to say it? That's crazy though. Niggas got all the money in the world. Still yeah. pillow talking shorties. Yeah. Still sharing bitches. <laughs> Well, yeah, those, guys, those guys all share niggas bitches, can, bro. Niggas can take a private jet to any part of the globe. <sighs> but yeah, I think and find them a new bitch. A lie and they're undiscovered. I never understood that. I'm not gonna lie. They said they just want a Miami bitch. Like. They- I never understood that part of Africa it. Africa or something, bro. Fam, if I was rich like that, I'm finding a shorty that no one's ever seen but before. Then, type go to the Philippines or something. But then you're rich and you try and, like, you know, we are just going to build up a shorty from scratch. You're going to trust that that process versus, like, maybe potentially going with someone you might know. I don't know. I hear what you guys are saying about, like, you know, finding a shorty that's undiscovered. But, but like, you know, you could probably find a more, like, I'm not looking in Miami or L.A. for my shorty. I'm, I'm going to try to find someone that's more outside of that matrix way of thinking and shit like that like you know mm. i feel like miami and la is just the matrix like it's just gta material <laughs> you know, gta they like make games on it vice city exactly but yeah. i feel like you're not gonna but then again these are just shorties they're just dealing with it's not like they're looking for their wife out in yeah. miami okay so yeah never mind hey man they be putting season them girls those same ways A lot. especially the athletes like chris brown karuchi fam that's what i'm saying like you know that's what i'm saying it. So. He put her on. But anyways, nigga, yeah. back to the... Um, yes. It is over a shorty, though. It is over a shorty, but apparently, that's apparently. what it seems like, yeah. Allegedly, I don't know. Allegedly. I feel like that's what majority of Drake's beef is over, though. A shorty. <laughs> he's very Machiavellian in his approach to shit. Like, he's like... Like, bro, he's just a deadly guy at times. I fuck with Drake, but like, god damn, like, yo, he'll fuck your bitch knowing that's your bitch, and then he'll drop a little subliminal in a track. You know what I'm saying? But yo, nah, I fuck your bitch. No one else knows, but we know. You know what I'm saying? But like, what, what about like when he was beefing with Meek Mill or Pusha? Was, those aren't over no gal, though. Those weren't over a gal. Meek Mill did like a Twitter rant. That was, that, okay. That, that, right. been, that one might have been Meek Mill's fault. No, not what about Pusha. That was. You think that's Meek Mill's fault, though? Fam, he still, he he did he was mad that Mans weren't shouting out his mixtape or some shit like that, and then yeah. he outed Quentin Miller for whatever reason, and mm-hmm. then that that ruins Drake's credibility. So that's probably why Drake got mad in the first place. I'm assuming. Me no, me no, me no needs to put down the Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah after he recent needs, he needs events, to yeah. Okay, but imagine though, no. <laughs> imagine though, no, fam. Okay, you putting years towards your craft. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Sharpening that thing. You know what I'm saying? You finally get to a point where you know you're at the top of the of your industry or your class or whatever. Now you have a track with another guy who's at the top and people are saying he washed you up on the track and then you find out this nigga ain't even writing his shit. So I put in all this pain to look crazy against a nigga who's not even writing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So maybe he was just frustrated at that and said, yo, yeah. you know what I mean? So but I feel like there's ways to go about it. Yeah, that wasn't the way to go about it. He and then, he, and then the worst part about it is he I got fried you. up after. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's where he fucked up, right? Main, mainstream, like. That's, you know what I, And that's where he fucked up, though. You're going to shoot at Drake, a nigga who's a known killer. Well, not a known killer, but, you know, he could rap. Now you speak the truth. And you're not going to have a plan? Like, 
I think that's what Kendrick did right now. I think he has a plan. I like, definitely think he has a plan. You, you know what I'm saying? Plan. Like, he, like oh, he already man. has a track probably ready. Like, if Drake even drops anything, boom. You know what I mean? Pay for J. Cole, too? Probably, I wouldn't doubt it. Kendrick, yeah, Kendrick could get J. Cole out of here whenever he wants. It's just He just has to wake up and say, yo, today's the day. I think J. Cole's the bigger beast that oh, Kendrick sure. should have to worry about, if anything. If why? he had to. What do you mean, why? I think, I think J. Cole's... J. Cole I think starts getting into that duffel, fam? I think Cole's a better lyricist than Drake, too. The heck? Mm-hmm. I think Cole's someone that he, he, could, he could probably put together... He could put together a diss track that's also mainstream as well, that mm-hmm. everyone's going to listen to and probably understand and digest easier than Kendrick. Mm-hmm. But, like, the real fans that know Kendrick, Kendrick's obviously going to body him if you if you want to listen to what Kendrick has to say, etc. So, in a, in a rap, like, beef or mm-hmm. battle or whatever, mm-hmm. what do you look for? Because lyricism, I don't think I just look for that only. It's not just lyricism. Like it's not just win. lyricism. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's your way of. But here's why, Drake, like I hear. I think Drake will have some sick punchlines. Drake's really good at, at battle rapping. I think he's really good at battle rapping because number one, he has punchlines. Yes. He's direct. He knows how to angle shit. Like he he looks at shit from a different angle and he could rap that. You know what I mean? Loki very smart when it comes to like this is family. That's what I mean by Machiavellian. Drake yeah. is always thinking like three steps ahead of shit. You know what I mean? Which is why he got Meek Mill out of here. He said, "Oh, this nigga's in a position to." lose which is why i also think drake wouldn't take a battle that's at his dis- that he's he doesn't have the advantage in you know what i mean you don't think he has an advantage in this one? Oh no absolutely why? not because first he's of- been gone for five or six years i think that's some sort of an advantage that doesn't why is mean that nothing. Advantage? what does that mean if anything he's nicer now that's how kendrick is he probably worked this whole five years he's been working we haven't seen anything yeah. I mean, come on, you guys bro. About to, you guys about to see the work just now. So. They're going to see this work. work. They're going to get, get this work. Oh, you going to get this work. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the difference, though. Drake, I feel like, has more experience than all of these niggas in battle rap. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He's tested. Like, yeah, he's, that's, why, that's why I think Drake would win a battle against Kendrick. Like, Kendrick will have the bars and, you know, mm. but Drake's going to, like, be able to just set that stage better. Mm. And make go mainstream in, with it. Enlighten me on why Drake has more experience in battle rap. I know he's around the scene and whatnot, but mm-hmm. like, no, why I just is mean he more experience in battle. He's rap? had more bouts than Kendrick. He's had more battles than oh, Kendrick. Yeah, okay, like, okay, like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. True, true, that's what that's all. That's all what I mean. Oh, okay, like okay. he has he has more experience. He's but it could also be a a situation where. Kendrick deals with him like Joe Budden dealt with Drake. Drake can't even reply because Joe Budden went crazy, but the world didn't hear it because it was Joe Budden at the Joe time. Budden, yeah. <laughs> <But> like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Drake said, "Yo, I'm even gonna like you know acknowledge this shit. Give this any more attention?" But I didn't even hear that one to be honest. No, you were making up a murderer. Joe, I'll show you after this. Joe Budden went crazy. So crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worse than Pusha. <sighs> the news pusher had to say it was just a little bit like, yeah like, like you know you know but see, we were arguing about that last that night crazy. too yes i don't think it was that crazy of a try i just think if he didn't mention the child no it wouldn't have blown up 100 percent. and drake would have won that easily because dumpy freestyle went <laughs> crazy. crazy listen okay yeah dumpy freestyle, dumpy like, freestyle was crazy like it was dumpy sh- freestyle was crazy the, like the bars yeah. like, it was a shock factor of push your teeth thing because no one knew who drake baby mom was no one knew that he even had a kid but His come on you guys too. can't just say that fam not anybody could have came with that knowing that knowledge and still delivered that the way push it delivered that no surgically. It was a surgical summer <laughs> surgical he, yo, yo, listen, it, it wasn't no. just it wasn't just only that it was also the news with 40 being sick no, but in like, there. Okay, no, but that's like the information. The all information the man got was from his own camp. Too. Mm. I hear Come that. on, like Everything you know, that's really, it. Definitely makes you question like your niggas around the you. Chip, the chip, this chip in your armor at that point. Drake was untouchable at that point. Now when you get the chip in your armor, it looks like it looked bad, man. It looked bad, bro. Look you bad. get attacked at all times now. And I feel like yo, Pusha T just went. Like he took the direct disrespectful route. Like I'm just gonna get yeah. Like, he wilded. <laughs> but usually that's how niggas win battles. Mm-hmm. It's the who's the most disrespectful? Nas, Ether, wild disrespectful. Yeah. Tupac hit him up. Wild disrespectful. disrespectful. Yeah. Fuck, no Vaseline, fuck, nigga. It's called no Vaseline. Like, yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> So like, yeah. Sometimes it's the most disrespectful and not the most lyrically lyrical. Sadly to say, mm-hmm. sometimes that's what it is. But I honestly think like Duppy Freestyle had better punchlines and shit like that. But yeah. he just got him out of here, man. It's it's yeah. Honestly, it's the way I, the, the way Pusha delivered it too. Mm. And like you know, he was just on flow with it, and it just it's beautiful. Like, I, I remember know. when I first heard, I'm like. Yo, you how many times did you hear that back? You are I hiding a child. Four four times. Times. Telling you. But he said you're hiding a child. I was like, I said, oh my god. He made really? sure he made it clear. He made sure everyone heard it. You are hiding, hiding a child. child. <laughs> then he did the baby mom. Ugh. They, like, let uh, him be your queen or something like that. Yeah, fam. <laughs> oh god. I was like, uh, uh, what do you say? 
something, something, something with the stench. Oh, cleaned her up for IG with the stenches on her. I said, yeah. oh, God, no, that's wild disrespectful. But W Freestyle was like, I could actually like bump it. Yeah. Like, yeah, you'll listen yeah. to that you know way more than Story Out. I get that, 100%. Yeah. But that's where Drake kind of wins most of his beats. He mm. makes the track a track that you can listen to. Like, you know, it's yeah. not something like... Most other diss tracks are like kind of like moments in a sense, you know. Hit him up is a good track that man's will still go mm. back and listen to. You know what that I mean? That was mainstream too. That was, but that's Pac. Yeah, but like, that, like you know, like back to back, for example, like that was like a super mainstream track. Like, could mm -hmm. you imagine like everywhere you go, man's are bumping that, clubs Oops. are bumping that. Mm -hmm. Like that's the type of that's the type of diss track Drake's trying to make, where it's like, yo, yeah, you you might have the moment and man's might big you for a week or two, but just know for the next year. My bars are in your ear. You want to sip that champagne for your accomplishment? That's true. Run, yeah. run that back to back. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> and, and he's a jerk because he just he just served the hors d'oeuvres with charged up at first. He started out smooth, <laughs> and then he came with everything else after. And charged up to me was crazy. yeah. Charged up was crazy. Charged up to me was crazy. I did some charity today for the kids. <laughs> oh y'all charity cases. <laughs> like, We're oh crazy. <laughs> what? You guys hear? Sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. Go, go, go. You hear? Uh, uh, War Pain by Meat Mill, though? That was kind of... That was fire. Yeah, that, that was, was fire. But was two good. years late. Yeah, that was way too late. He should have dropped that then and there. Like, he dropped some next bullshit that you could hardly even hear what he said. I remember that. The one of the Undertaker. Undertaker, thing. yeah. Ding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was the Undertaker thing. Man, but yeah. I feel like, again... Drake took that bottle because he seen he seen the writing on the wall. He said, "Okay, Meat Mill just dissed me. He's on tour right now. Obviously, he's not in his right state of mind because he's tweeting shit. He's looking crazy. Maybe it was the Diddy parties. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but and so he took that battle like in a battle against Joe Budden. He's not taking that shit because Joe Budden is just one of those monsters. Like people don't really know how nasty Joe Budden really yeah, is. Slaughterhouse. Like, that nigga was a monster. Like I mean, like he nothing to lose. Like. Nothing to lose, fam. <laughs> like he got a lot of." Great Great rappers out of here. Mm -hmm. He got the game out of here. He got. Uh, <laughs> I think he's underrated too. Yo, super underrated. Nah, he is super. I feel like if Joe Budden was rapping today, he would have done better because he had like that emotional music where you talk about your emotions and shit yeah. like that. But that was in the two thousands where niggas weren't really. Nigga, mm. we'll sell some crack. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Like <laughs> put out that new fifty, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, Jake, Kendrick, J Cole. What you guys? What you guys rank those? Shit. Drake, Cole, Kendrick. See, it's the opposite. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> no, he go next. Me? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. I'm gonna go Drake first. Probably, I'm gonna go Kendrick second. Okay. And third was close. It's close. Okay. okay. Before I answer this, how are you guys like ranking this in a sense? Because like, that, I was gonna ask that because like I. For example, like I feel like I might listen to another artist's music more than another, but that doesn't mean I think that artist is better. Like that's you me. know, so like, what do you mean that's? Like you? I listen to probably I have probably I probably have more Cole songs on my phone. Mm. But than I, I than think Kendrick? Kendrick's better. Mm. Like the Kendrick songs that I've listened to that I've liked, I, I just mud love. I like, like I love them. J Cole's are more like you know. I like it. I vibe with it. You know what I'm saying? But Kendrick's like like he has bars. Mm. Oh. Real nigga. So what? So 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 what? What makes Drake higher than Kendrick? Like. With you saying that, yeah. why do you put you think Drake's a better rapper than Kendrick or Drake just like does overall more things than Kendrick? I think he just he just adapts to any like genre or whatever. He could do anything like okay. in music. So you okay. can switch it up whenever fam. Like Drake has more, Drake has music that's gonna fit more moods at like all times. Hundred yeah. percent than Kendrick, you know, in, in in my opinion. But I if I was to pick, I didn't say it yet, I'm gonna go Fuck, but I don't even want to put Cole last. That's the craziest part, too. I don't want to either, fam, but, <laughs> but I gotta have to. to you know, I it's Kendrick, me. Drake, and the Cole. It's the, I, have to, I have to. Okay, let me ask you guys. Is this is this list who's the best rapper? Who could rap the best? Is that what we talking about? Listen, honestly, I think Drake has bars. He does. No, he does. You We're know not what saying I'm saying? Like, does 100%. Like, I would say lyrics, lyricism. Like, okay, maybe Kendrick got that. All right. But like, <laughs> okay. But Drake can spit, fam. Drake can spit. I'm telling you, dog. He's okay. low-key lyrical, too. Fam. No, he's super He's not even low-key. He's high-key high lyrical. He can rap. You know what I'm saying? But so Drake... Any, any time, time stamped um, track? Yeah, the 9 a.m., 10 yeah, a.m. Like time that. stamp <laughs> tracks go crazy. They're mud. Mud so. every time. Okay, so okay, so you say in terms of lyricism, you might put Kendrick. In terms of lyricism, are you putting Cole too? Over Drake? Over Drake. No, I would, I'll put Drake second, bro. Word, eh? Yeah. I think Drake, like, I think he's high-key ly like, lyrical. But, mm -hmm. you know, I guess to the mass, it's like he's underrated to me. No, Drake, Drake. Lyrics. But Drake did what you're supposed to do as an artist, fam. You're supposed to take that lyricism and still, like, you know, expand and do more shit, which he did. But Kendrick did that as well. You feel me? Kendrick. Oh, you go, go, sorry. Kendrick has 
King Kunta, he has all of them. Grammy, that's like some next. Damn was fire to Damn me. Was fire. Damn, Damn was fire. Damn was super fire. So I gotta go, Kendrick. Man, I fuck dog. This I I fuck with Jake, man. I fuck with Jake, dude. <laughs> he could rap, man. But Cole has to be second, dog. Friday Night Lights, like you said, man. Carolina Blue. See, here's the thing. I feel like Cole is more like maybe relatable. Like he's, mm-hmm. he has a lot of stories where like I see him like I could relate to it. Mm-hmm. Like I wouldn't like I don't know Kendrick can like when I think of rapper like it's Kendrick it has to be Kendrick and Drake has shown some of that too, fam. Mm-hmm. Cole is more like yo you're gonna relate to it, fam. Like, mm-hmm. He's still a rapper, no, rapper. But, don't get me no, wrong. But Cole bars up the place every he time. He'll bar up the he'll place. Bar, he'll bar <laughs> the place the list is hard. The list, it, the list, I the list is hard. They're all three of them are great rappers. Great rappers. Cole bars up the place, but makes it so relatable, fam. Yeah. Cole is a painter. He's painting it for you, like bro. Remember that song where he's like. This is where the, uh, uh, nah, what is he say? Yeah, this is where the fathers ain't living. Yeah. At least not with us. My city, city, the city and won't, won't even say what's up. up. When niggas play tough, won't even smile. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we, we learn to fuck a hoes off trial and error. Like, nigga, what you town, nigga. And you can relate to it, right? Hustle. Hustle. Bam, I feel like I'm there with a nigga like, there you go. There you go, you know. Strictly for the zero. Back to the topic. Come on, dude. No, no, no. That's enchanted. That's enchanted. No, that was back to the topic. Yeah, that's enchanted, I think. Enchanted. That's not back to the topic. Enchanted. Back to the topic. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Actually, I forgot it. That's actually, actually, actually forgot it. it. Hold on, money on the shit. Yeah, everybody. It wasn't trying. It wasn't trying. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. But Cole can't fuck up Cole. What are you talking about here? That's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> that's like, what I'm saying. I'm not saying nothing. Like, don't take my list where it's like, he's <laughs> shit. Like, they're all nice. If anything, they, those, that might be my top three favorites. Like, of, mm-hmm. probably of all time. Okay. Where? You know what I'm saying? Maybe, yeah. Where, where, where? Fuck, dude. Like, I. All is in a dream? I gotta put Cole. Yeah. Yeah, like, like that cream that not mall up in the. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Who's first on your nah, list? You said Drake, Drake was first, and that's, that's, crazy. So wait, yeah. that's crazy. That's crazy. You explained that. Why then? Drake over Cold, nigga? Yeah. What? What Drake album has hit you like Friday Night Lights? Yeah, I would nigga? expect you to say Cold. Come on, the fact talk you're saying, to me. Drake, you gotta explain I'm that. So. For me, okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spit I'm gonna, one of those Drake lines. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you why. Honestly, how I bling. <laughs> that know. album was crazy though too. What? The holiday uh, views. Views. Yeah, views is an amazing album. I like yeah. that album a lot. That's my favorite. 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 But anyways, the reason why Drake for me is like, yo, I've listened to Drake through like my whole life. Basically, like there there hasn't been no real like up and down period it's always been like yo drake drops i'm listening to that top to bottom mm. you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. where j cole like after like Don't friday, do like i'm not i'm not i'm not saying anything but like after like friday night lights and like like a one two albums after that it kind of just became like what, what's that album like that kod album trash what no you're wild just relax i'm not i'm not saying Kids, kids yeah. Are yeah, 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 yeah. I like that, one. that album was beautiful that, man that was a good album. that was a too. great album concepts you know, yeah, they don't like the concepts that's the thing you Concept- know the concept of that album was amazing amazing <laughs> and he delivered it pretty well yeah. but, but i feel like he could have delivered it better like like with that like i don't feel like there's been projects hmm. that touch my soul like friday night lights you guys don't understand if i'm mm. wake up in the morning mm. Facts. Headphones in going to school, school. I'm bumping Friday Night Lights. No facts. Lunchtime in one earful walk to the plaza, Friday Night Lights. Friday Night Lights. lights. I'm in class, I'm doing something Friday Night Lights. After school, walking home Friday Night Lights. That, that was a religious thing. Mm-hmm. Niggas could spit that whole mixtape probably. Oh, front to bottom. Yeah. You, you <laughs> put me on J. Cole's so I remember that. So. And it's like, it's just that still. Like, even even the sideline stories, Ooh. that one is crazy too. It's a staple, it's a staple in, my, in, my, in my lifetime for you know sure. Come on, like, man. He has, he has a lot of, like, J. Cole, J. Cole definitely has a lot more, like, rememorable moments in my life. Mm. But if I'm looking at Drake, like, more that, consistent, like, even that 2016 summer when Controller came out, party he went to, fam. Like, um, nah. He had a lot one of dance, summers. I need a one dance, fam. 2016? He had like, a lot was, of that summers. Was, that, you guys can say that was arguably one of the best summers you guys ever had, right? He did. That's because that's everyone's something like that. That's I actually want to talk about that, but later. <laughs> I, think, I think I just thought of something while, you, while you're saying that. Yeah. I think, okay, maybe, maybe, okay. As an artist, I might just appreciate like the not even just the bars and the rapping, but the concepts behind it. Maybe I think that's what I like because like, and I, it just shows me that you're you're willing to do deep thought. You know what I mean into something like like mm-hmm. kids on drugs. 
I appreciated that so much because I seen what he did. Like, and I like that's a whole concept. You put some thought provoking shit behind it, and that's my thing for Drake is that I don't think he has much thought provoking shit. Much, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he's still an amazing rapper, but he just doesn't do that. Like, like what has he really made you think about? Nah, his, 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 can do it though. His type of thought provoking shit is a love and emotion. That's it's that's, about, that's, yeah, that's, that's Drake's but that's, niche. But that's but that's been his niche even like since like his earlier shit, fall for your type. Like, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, Houston. Houston Solana Vegas, like things mm-hmm. like that, like successful, you know, like mm-hmm. what's what's so when you say thought provoking, like in what way, like because like I feel like the love shit is still kind of like thought provoking, it, it's just in a yeah, different like to, it time is out, you know time, time out time out it is I don't answer this question I want these two to answer this question okay you guys are Drake fans right I'm mm-hmm. assuming right yeah have you guys seen the comeback season I uh-huh, have yeah. which yeah. one dropped first so far gone our comeback season do you guys know. I swear it's so far no so far gone. I think that was his first like studio album. I'm gonna assume no, Come There's Wonders was it's a mixtape. It's a mixtape. No, so far gone's an album. That's what I just said. So yeah, far so gone is an album and comeback season. season. Would be the mixtape. So that would have mm. been before. Yeah. yeah. Drake started out rapping. He didn't start out with no. The you're right. Shit. I was gonna say that last. That's all. I, I don't know if I said that last. Did I say that last? I don't. I'm not that's sure. Where I said Drake wasn't always a singing nigga. Yeah, he started out rapping. That's when I, I said the whole LL Cool J thing last yeah, night. He started yeah. out as a rapping nigga. Majority. He didn't. It was his main yeah. niche wasn't singing. It was rapping. You guys mm. remember that thing? Um, I think it's like a video. Of right. Lil Wayne and they're like, Yo, Lil Wayne was saying to me, like, Yo, we got this artist from Canada. He's Drake. Like. He can he can rap bars up, but he also does the singing shit like a R like you know like a R and B artist. That's why they fucked with Drake because he was like a hybrid at the time. Because either you're gonna be Barzy or mm. you're gonna be Trey Songs. There is no in between. Yeah, mm-hmm. Trey Songs mm-hmm. was a guy at the time. Yeah, Trey Songs put kind of put Drake on too. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's the like, thing. Yeah. So it's like it's either you're gonna be that light skinned R and B nigga, or you're gonna be a light skinned Joe Budden hardcore rapper. Like don't, mm-hmm. don't be singing while you're trying to rap on the verse again. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot. And Drake yeah, kinda, yeah. He might be the first hybrid for real. So like when you're thinking about that, like and then think about like Kendrick's upbringing into rap, like what was he doing? Murdering tracks. Like, you know? Yeah, nigga. J. Cole was just yeah. literally painting visual masterpieces. Like mm-hmm. they're all still doing the same thing from when they came up. They just evolved their mm. level of artistry. So True. Obviously, yo, Kendrick, in terms of poet like poetry, Kendrick and Cole have that over Drake, I would say. Oh, for sure. Poetry. poetry, like I'm poetry. saying it in terms of like yo, being able to paint a picture so vivid that I can sit there and listen to the track and literally like in my mind I'm seeing exactly what you're saying. Like for example, yeah. wet dreams. No, no that's a hard one. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a vivid picture. Like, but like yeah. Drake has the like the love part of though. He has like especially because he sings too, right? Like he'll get you in your feelings, think about your next, like your last three exes, fam. Yeah, no, no, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, no, I'm trying to think about my last three. Oh, but I'm just saying, <laughs> but like, yeah. that's where he loses me, dog. Okay, but what do you yeah, mean? But some, man. What, what some do you want to think about, dog, man? <laughs> what do you want to think, think about? Some next shit. What do you think of sitting on thinking about my last three exes, my ex for hey, a reason? When, bro. When, when when wet dreams comes on, why do you want to think about the first girl you fucked? It, that, it, that it, it, it's not about thinking about the first girl I fought. It was just the lead up and how he he rolled out the whole story. What does that make you think about? No, I just appreciated what he did on it. It's I yeah, do too, it, but it, I, if you're gonna say about oh, I don't want to think about my next last three exes, but like, I'm not. Yeah, you're yeah, listening to you. wet dreams that makes you think about the time you lost your virginity. Why yeah. do you want to? Yeah, it was, I mean, it was the process leading up to it so, that makes you. So think what about like, the processes know? in Drake's songs when he's leading up to like the you know the climax of the song? Fam? Nah, it's the same. It's just no, you gotta, you gotta do different. the same shit. But like, I can't lie. When Drake was when Drake was in that stripper phase, he was going crazy with the singing. That's why I. I'm cheesy. Gave it to Jamie Fox though. That track? That track was a big track. Yeah, he gave it to Jamie yeah, Foxx. Kind of he, he rapped that track. Uh-huh. Uh, he was the rapping. release one, he was rapping. Mm. Jamie Foxx was singing the the verses. The chorus. Yo, yeah, bro. Was, No, but yo, I'll say this, though. The Forest Hill one with J. Cole. Come on, That one, man. I would say top to bottom, I could Greatest bump that. Come on. That's probably, best album. That's no features, too, right? No features. Yeah. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to say Born Sinners is the best album. <laughs> He, over he, over he, ah, yeah. I'll, I'll take it but yo the one born sinner dropped it dropped at the most perfect time i can drop i can listen to that all the yo, way through honestly, no skip hold up, hold up, born sinner is better than than I'm, force I'm, I'm, drive I'm, I'm, honestly born Hill's sinner more fam. commercial though hold up hold yeah force Hill's more commercial 100 percent my list though it might have to be cool drake then kendrick that's that makes more that sense. makes more sense I'm, very much. I'm not even thinking about born I, I didn't sinner, even think about born sinner at born all is or amazing even force hill drive that's crazy yeah 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 Bitches, the, com- the thought goes. process into those guys' album versus Dre's is completely different. Come on, man. That's what I mean. You asked me what I mean by 
thought provoking. <laughs> like Born Sinner, that's like one of my favorite uh, top ten favorite albums right there. Born Sinner's Sinner fire. All you can't, you know through. what? Forest Hill Drive was just more. It's like he reached the pinnacle of him as an artist. Like he he did so much different shit for different crowds. Born Sinner's more for a crowd like us who've been listening to Cole, who appreciates you know the yeah. real shit. Yeah, because I listened to Kendrick before I listened to Cole. Come on. That too. Your word. So yeah. you were listening to old Kendrick. Yeah, Kashan, like my cousin, he yeah. put me on Kendrick. Which album did you listen to? I don't know the name, but I just remember. Probably Overly Dedicated. O O D at that time? Like o back when he was with the game. You remember the, that one track, The City? That track? That was on the games album. Yo, that was on games. So right that, what time was that though? What, when, what, that was probably like. In Kendrick's career. Like what time was it what in was his. Absol. Hmm? Oh, what, Absol. What nigga? Absol is amazing. Oh, you fuck with Absol? <laughs> Levi's still, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, yeah, Absol. <laughs> yeah, that's what album was. Fam, Control System? Control System. Oh, we were exactly bumping that back in the days. That's exactly what it was. Yeah, but I know that guy too. Absol was nasty. Kashan put me on him too. Not blind, like but he has. Like almost blind. He's not really blind. blind like, right? Yeah, like, like he has some pigment in his eyes or something like that or something. You know what song I still play to this day? Um, mm. It's two songs, Regular Nigga and... Uh, it's the Regular Nigga doing regular shit. <sighs> Got my regular cars and my regular I forget, bitch. I forget it. It's Absol Chat, though. Absol uh, uh, a Rebellion? You used to love that song. No, it was, that, it was the one about the girl, fam. Oh, my God. Book of Soul. Book of Soul is dope, too. And this ties perfectly into my last point. <laughs> <laughs> These are the songs that it's like, bro, you really went deep into either your own depths of your own psyche or you're really thinking about something so abstract that it's like, yo, as an artist, I got to respect you for even going there, for having the, you know what I mean? Not even just the intellect to do it, but the will to even want to go that deep to bring something out of nothingness and make it just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Kendrick does that. J. Cole does that. Drake, mm. I think Drake's capable, though. I think he's capable. I does he do it? No. Cap okay, to me, I don't know, like capable, we're talking about, I'm talking about really, what have I seen? I haven't seen that from Drake, but I still love Drake for what he is, but that's why I don't like really comparing him to these niggas, because these niggas, like Lupe Fiasco, come on, dog, that guy's going to places that like, an abstract thinking that it's like, yo, this is the art to me, like, that's the art of it, like, and it doesn't have to be the deepest shit, it could mm -hmm. just be like, um, like when J. Cole did, um, the kids on drugs or even the all eyes on me about the uh was it all eyes on me or what's it called i don't think it's called kings on drugs is it not called king of dollars it's it? kod it's kod so whatever it is i think it's kids on drugs is it? though because that was that was the little that was when the little pump niggas were like fuck j cole yeah fuck j. Cole. Mm -hmm. and that's why you made the track like yo yeah niggas popping molly she all gonna fade out tomorrow be broke and look <laughs> at the beauty behind what he did he's getting at them for 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 doing that but he's also showing you the conscious side of it of yo you could do this shit but but this is gonna this is what's, what's gonna, gonna come happen. with it you know what i mean and he's just painting beautiful what's the other one with the girl um the little girl whose pops died who's like a friend of his or something like that oh um for for, for your, your eyes. eyes for your eyes only yo yeah, that dog. one that's beautiful. that was a hard it was, nah. deep. it was deep even lost ones about uh the girl i guess pregnant yes both sides come on man this is like you're reaching into the art of it like drake is not doing that for me like he's not He's talking about girl and you know what I'm saying? And it's it's Automa. sick. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's that's what separates for me. I just want to see you try to go into those depths and see what you could bring out that's new, that's different, mm -hmm. that's never been thought of. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. No, I hear that. Like, there's I guess at the end of the day, it's like how you wanna like, mm -hmm. I don't know, listen to music. Mm -hmm. Like when I listen, like there's, I have my moments where I want to hear some deep shit. Mm -hmm. And then I, like, I have my moments where I want to sing R&B. I just want to, yeah, yeah. I have some moments where I want to rock out like a rock star. Like mm. a white boy, dog. This <laughs> is Mariana's Trench or whatever. <laughs> you feel really? me? Then there's times I want to bump like 70s, 80s, like yeah. old school of like mm -hmm. R&B music, yeah. bedroom, like love making music, you know, Luther for Vandross. Sure. Like, I don't know. I'm weird. Like I just try out different genres. Lights. No, But I guess sure. it's all about what you want to see Teddy. in music. It's you different music for different exactly. things. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. Yo, That's why we all have different like lists. Tastes you know? and listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I feel you. I kind of like that too. It'd be boring if everyone had the same list. The same shit. Exactly. So, trust me. Y'all take in how R&B music was <laughs> back in those days, like the 70s, 80s, and 90s. That's why all our- I would have a kid right now. You know yeah, what I'm sorry. saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what <I'm> saying? <laughs> <laughs> what you mean, turn off the light? Let's light a candle. Like, bro, when you turn that on, what do you think's going down? <laughs> you Close the door. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, niggas like, what do you mean? R. Kelly was going crazy them times too. Crazy. R. Kelly, Luther Vandross, who else? I'm on a lie. Trapped in the closet? <laughs> to me? 
that's that same art. Like, okay, that's okay, that's not nah, the same. That's, that, that, no, but that's, that was art. You know I, what I mean? You watch Bear the Chapters, though? Fam, I watch those, dog. I, I watch, watch those, fam. You see the midget come out, dog? Come, come on, dog. <laughs> one of the best music videos ever. It's a movie. It's a movie, literally. A musical. Like, man, you so wait, man, you so wait for the next week, for the next four the chapters chapter, to yeah. come out. Like, yo, dog, hurry up. <laughs> yo, man. R. Kelly, man. Yo, yeah, he's fucked for what he did. But, yo, dog, can't take away from that guy's fucking he's genius. He's a musical genius, yeah. His genius was crazy. Yeah. Um, no, nah, but, yeah, back to the... So what do you guys think? What do you guys think should happen? Like, should oh yeah, the they, like Drake should like he's on tour right now. Mm-hmm. But I don't think he's gonna respond right now. But what's J Cole doing? Is he in album mode? Damn, yeah, he's in album mode. He, they need to duke it out for the sport. That's what they need to do. I need J. to see Cole? man duke it out. Someone needs to lose the throne. So who has yeah. the throne right now? I mean, I'm gonna have to go with Kendrick. But like, what, bro? No, I'm, 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 I'm still, come on, I'm still, I'm still. Yeah. I'm still he hasn't I, dropped I, in five years. I, still, How's he the I feel like Kendrick is just a monster that's just he not to be played the with. Throne gang. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yo, the throne. Okay, the throne. What do you mean the throne? What do you mean what throne? No, is, he said the throne. No, I'm asking you. There's different thrones though. Like in every, the hip hop game, who is the most respected and reputable? MC, because that's what a king is. He's the most respected and reputable man in the yeah, land. But obviously, clearly, a lot of niggas don't. You say that Jay. exactly. Like, you say that. Respect, thank you, thank you. The, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bare niggas are unfollowing him right now as we speak, dog. Look at the respect. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't know about respect. Yeah, but I would say like I think I think it's it's one of those things where people are just tired of this nigga being at the top. You can't, but you can't, you can't. That's you not can't that. It is, dog. I don't think it's that either. It's it's not not that, it takes Kendrick Lamar to diss him and then niggas are unfollowing like some follow botties? Nah, so fam, that's, that's, they're unfollowing because of the whole affiliation. It's an affiliation thing. It's but that's so what now I, you guys want to unfollow? I'm sure these niggas knew already. But let me tell you something. I mean, facts. Do you think that's going to, again, do you think that's going to affect Drake in any way? No. He's no. going to go crazy. No, no, no. He's, no, no. he's going to go mod. That's what he, that's, what, that's what niggas want to see. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what Kendrick mod, said. He has to go. He he has to go mod on Metro Boomin in future. Just leave Kendrick alone. Because you know <laughs> he's gonna leave. fry up all three of them. Leave, three I'm telling you, fam. Tracks. Listen, I fuck Drake's from the city, dog. Leave Kendrick alone. Gang. But here's the thing, yo. yo alone, can I, say I think he has to approach both of those. Like what you just said, like Metro and Future in the, are in the same box. Mm-hmm. I think those two are petty as fuck. Yeah. Like where Kendrick's coming. From a sport as, like, aspect, like yeah, aspect, mm-hmm. he's not really 100%. dissing Drake. Like, yo, you're like whatever. You're like, he's not exposing him. Like, push a T, right? Mm-hmm. Kendrick just saying like, yo, like, I think I'm the best rapper. Yes. I know I'm the best rapper. Mm-hmm. I believe that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not clicking up. This is a competition. He's like Kobe Westbrook yeah. on the court. Fact. We're not. I'm not shaking your hands. Yeah. No, nah, you're my enemy right when now. Drake Maybe after when we're done and retired, we could laugh about it, have a beer or whatever. Mm. I think Kendrick's like that. Whereas Future and Metro, they're petty. Yeah, they're they over a petty. Petty. They are petty. We're, we're beefing over a gal, dog. <laughs> we're both billionaires beefing over a gal. Nah, but I, 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 like. I don't know the full story, though, but like I don't know yeah. what Drake did. or But it, from what I heard, his pillow talking. Whatever. It doesn't matter, dog. You guys are both arguing over a gal. Over a gal pushing that's 40? Crazy. And I heard, I heard she's a white gal, too. I heard, I heard this <laughs> thing that... I heard the thing that Metro is actually signed to XO apparently. Yeah, and he's the reason why They're... OVO and XO don't link up, fam. He ruined one of Ontario's greatest link ups, gang. You're not taking that in. Oh, I didn't even know he was XO. Eh? I, I didn't think know that he either. ruined it though. I think I think Weekend he and Drake been having a little bit of friction, nah, like, fam. Yeah, that too. Come on, they've been had friction. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why though, because Drake squ- put him on. They squash the friction though. They squash and then they go back into yeah. Metro, Metro oh. Boomin's. He looks, he looks, he looks a little emotional. Cause even DJ Academic gets out that nigga. Yeah, he is. He is look kind of emotional. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, still... I don't know the nigga personally, but like from what I see from online, she just looks like. Yeah. A, uh, but yeah. I think Drake's like. You see probably... what Drake did to meet me with back to back. I mm-hmm. think he should do that with Future and Metro. Like do something like that. Yeah. Like, they're petty, bro. Yeah, do that to them. The like, fuck. But I think with Kendrick. It would just be more like a sparring thing. Like, but, don't 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 go at him in a petty, light skinned way. Go at yeah. him like with like a real nigga and say, "You think you're the Show shit? Why you're the you're best. not even the fart type then, shit. Type <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> Not like that. No, no. Yo, that <laughs> better come better than that. Bro. Better than that. Can't <laughs> murder him. That if that's the case, <laughs> you gotta come better than that, Yo. bro. Yo, that's what we have to come at him like, in like a competitive. Like what? you're like you're LeBron and he's Kobe type shit. Like. Here's the thing with that though. There's a history behind that, you know, Kendrick and Drake. No, I know that. It's yeah. a history. So I feel like now it's at a point where it's like, yo, kind of personal now. Or? I think it's getting personal now. I think at this point it's personal. Still, yeah. but, I feel like Kendrick which... wants to rip this guy's head off. He's been wanting to. Yeah. That's what I think. I feel like that too. Like you know, Kendrick <laughs> hates this nigga now, dog. <laughs> type shit. But I feel Jake like Jake's just like yo, dog. I'm the best, dog. I'm gonna talk to the world. I don't care about this rap shit. Nigga, little rap niggas. Yeah, you know. Yo, yeah, that's exactly how he's looking. <laughs> that's how he feels. But. 
now he's in a predicament where I feel like he kind of has to reply. Like he can't act like I'm too thing now. Like you gotta, I feel like you gotta reply now because Kendrick directly came at your, at, you know what I'm saying? Pause. For all the dogs but, said he's gonna make him see a pet tem- cemetery. Fight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta fry him up, Jersey. You gotta give him, you know what you gotta do. <laughs> you know what you gotta do. You're saying, no. whatever he does, it better be more. You know what you gotta Cause do. Cause you know what's you coming on the other end, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Kendrick. He just yeah. got, he just got a, he lot of like Cole go first, man. Huh? He just has to let Cole. I think yeah. that too. He has to let Cole. Yeah, because I'm not like Cole's been catching yeah. those streets from yeah. Kendrick, fam. Kendrick, Cole has to defend himself. And I felt bad. Like a scary was... you. And I think Cole is number three on a lot of people's list, to be honest. Probably. That's yeah. why he always mentions that. Oh, they gave me bronze. Like, why is he always the one that is mentioning the the next two? The niggas, next two Kendrick niggas. and Drake. Yeah, they bro. never mention Cole. Not near never. Numbers, We're bro. the top three. He like... gets snubbed, but like he's always right there. It's not that he's snubbed though. It's just that he's not the best. Like that's yeah. the, he's very good. It's not like they're like you know <laughs> he's just like, he's just not like it's like yo every year he has a sick album. I'm like yo dog, this is the year he's gonna do it. Kendrick drops a pimp to butterfly. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> like yo man, like, yeah. oh, like what the fuck, nigga? I can't win in this bitch. <laughs> you feel me? Get, get or the, Drake winning nothing was the same or some shit. You know what I'm saying? It's the, like as good as he is, it's like he's just. Not he's outshined every year, every, every time. T- every time, fam. Yeah, but he's still, he's still great. If there's any man that's been catching out the worst, it's Big Sean. So I didn't even know Big Sean has dropped the next track the other day. Oh, that nigga. <laughs> what? Who? Who? <laughs> Big who? <laughs> who that? <laughs> Yo, every right. time Big Sean drops something, some nigga drops something, it just overshadows everything he's fucking doing. I'm just like, bro, why are they doing this to him? What are you oh, doing? Big, Sean, Big Sean's track was, I seen a, I seen his verse, though. It's pretty solid. It's fire? He's, he's fire. Solid, yeah. The which the track or the freestyle? Because he dropped two tracks in the last, like, three days. I don't know. It's like a music video. Him in, like, a crib or something with the braid up. Okay, so that was the freestyle, where he, freestyle? where he mentioned man's talking about yeah. how, like, he doesn't want to do no competition with these guys for whatever, whatever crop out bars he was dropping. But then he dropped another song a day after. And bro, I didn't realize the man dropped the song with all this commotion going on. It's just getting overlooked. Yeah. Every time. Poor every guy. single time. Yeah, Freaking. <laughs> Since Control, fam. Because, yo, he had a very good verse. I think, yo, I think his verse was slapped on on Control. He had an amazing verse. But then, Is yeah, it slapped on when you have freaking Jay Electronica that's and Kendrick on, on track? That's what kind of fucked him up. Because then that Control thing, and then, you know, he drops albums. And it's like, he's in the talks with, like... J. Cole, Kendrick, mm. Drake, but then his album and his work just never compared to those two. Back then he was in the car. I don't know, yeah, I don't know about him being yeah. in the talks. Yeah, yeah, back, yeah, back, yeah, back yeah, no, back then he was the man said said Big Sean, Sean yeah. dot or whatever, whatever me. Back then he was on the he yeah, was one I of them guys. Love for all you niggas, but yeah, I'm trying but, to murder you niggas. Yeah, Big Sean was still <laughs> one of a man that can say, yo, you could put some bars together, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. nah, Big Sean could spit. Video. You're yeah. trying to diss. No, you know, this, you know, see what I'm yeah. saying? Like that yeah. doesn't respect Big Sean. Nah, nah, yo, my cousin like, doesn't fuck has, with Big Sean either. To, yo, my brother hates Big Sean. Bro. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna expose him for me, bro. You still like Big Sean, you put on a couple tracks, he's like, yo, what's this guy really saying, bro? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't know what he's really saying, you know. I heard Drake uh took his flow though. Mm, mm, mm. What y'all think about that? Yo. I never heard that. But I heard Big Sean is that the new track that he dropped recently was mm. Drake's Drake flow. flow. Everyone's yeah. saying that's Drake's yeah, flow. Yeah, but if you go deep in the if comments, you, in theory, might as well say Drake actually stole, stole his flow. Yeah. Imagine trying to From label who came out first. No, nah, but he didn't rap. He didn't rap a certain way. It's true. Listen, listen, yeah, that, listen, that's listen. true. That's true. Until Drake doesn't teeth man's flows. He sees a man doing his flow. And he says, "Yo, I can do it better." And then Simple as that. Better. And then he teeth yeah, it. I guess so. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's what Tori, yeah. that's what Tori no, does too, right? No, that's a Toronto man special. What does Tori Lanez do? What do you mean? Turns an amazing innovator too. Takes your shit and does it way better. What are you talking about? Oh, when he does his uh chick tapes? <laughs> chick tapes, yeah, bro. Got that from Lil Wayne. I'm not gonna lie, dog. I didn't think Tory Lanez was gonna get Don Q out of here the way he did. <laughs> he got him out. He got him the fuck up out of here. I'm like, yo, dog. Don Q like, spit, dog. Dog, Tory Lanez is a different type of animal. Still, yo. he's a different type of animal. I didn't even know he had bars. Like, you remember that first uh, freestyle he did? I'm like, what? Where he's rapping like Cassidy and shit. Yeah, he's getting that Cassidy or whatnot too. Yeah. He... Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. He's been yeah. battle rapping since high school. You don't yeah. see the old high school clips? Say a word. Fab, yeah. he was rapping in high school. Battle rapping. I don't think I see that. I, I was watching one the free other day. Toys. I'm going to send it to you. Send dog. me that. Send me that. Yeah, I want to see that. Free battle toys. rapping in high school. Stuff. Fab, that's a little you, dog. Cooking man's cooking. in the middle of the field. No, dog. I don't know if he was oh, cooking, man. Shit. It didn't seem like he was cooking. The one I, I seen, he was dog, cooking. He was cooking, man. He's cooking, niggas. No, but see, the thing is, so that one, this one clip I was watching, the next man had like a whatever punchlines, but Tori was actually like spitting. Like, you know, I think they were just. Too young to understand what he was really saying. If you listen to it, I know you'll think you'll know he won. Okay, okay, okay. Send me that. Send me that. Send me that. I would have got Tori out of here though, but yeah, send me that. (laughs) 
he starts really back in the days. Don't say really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Levi probably would have got Tori out of here back in the days. Oh, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was an animal back in the I days. I seen him do some crazy things. <laughs> like, yeah. I'll party. When <laughs> him and who was it? You and Tyreek were free. Tyreek right oh there. my god, niggas forgot about the party. Damn, that shit was weird. We were there rapping about the whole party. She felt like eight mile in that bitch. Wow. Lights off, niggas in the, in the I living said, room. Hey, yo. <laughs> you two against each other? Yeah, because like a bunch of niggas rapping. We used to be squad, fam. But then I came to Jay Clark and started talking shit on Twitter. I'm like, yo, fuck, fuck, nigga, yo, Jay Clark's the hardest now, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got the best rappers now, nigga. <laughs> what you mean? And then we were going back and forth. I remember Deontay was on my team, was supposed to be on my squad. Yeah, I remember it. It was me, Deontay versus I think Ty and Far Close was it? But you were by yourself, nigga. Yeah, you were by yourself. Not, yeah, after you're the first high round. High after the first round, I was drunk. What this guy <laughs> say again? Oh, what did you say again? I remember you something said, about the but... Batman. The, uh, some some golden showers making it rain. Uh huh. Fuck a uh, fuck a Batman. No, fuck a oh, Batman. Oh, I oh. use my fuck a fist. I, I use my, my Batman, Batman like, like Bruce, Bruce Wayne. Wayne. I said, Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Yo, in those battles, it was just you need that. One. It's, it's the nigga who first comes with that one crazy <laughs> punch that line, everyone just understands. And it's yeah, and it's over. It's over. And it's over. <laughs> or someone drops that, and you're ready to like respond with another crazy. You yes. know, that's yo. Dog, I, I miss that. Responded crazy. He said something crazy too, though. Yeah, I don't was was, though. back in the days. That dog. was sick. That was a sick day. Though. <laughs> the no battle rapping. That's. Niggas who do that, are, you guys are sick still because it's like, mm. yo, you, you actually have to get the crowd involved. Too, fam. No, real battle rapping is different. Like the battle rap now, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That shit is more. No, but like, let's say you're rapping and like they don't respond to what you're saying. It's like, everyone yeah. can think you lost. Yeah, you, you don't look know. good. You know, that silence is, is you know, it's, it's, it's killer. It's killer. It's, yo, to the ego. Yeah, it's trust me, like, fam. You can't even think about that. If you start <laughs> thinking about that, you're yeah. done. you'll dig yeah. yourself in a hole still. Or are those like, uh, those are actual freestyles. The yeah, those, up, no, the ones now, no, no, no. Those niggas, at this point, niggas are writing that shit. Yeah, because yeah, I'm listening to it now. Like, with some triple entendres it, to this, you yeah, crazy. Um, yeah. Like, <laughs> you, think, you think everything is written like that? I just, 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 everything's written. Like I just that? feel like, no, but so, how, how are they able to like? It just seems so like on timing and like when they say certain things, like how do you? Practice? Fam, they pra dog. These niggas are experienced at this yeah. level, but some niggas do drop a one-two freestyle. Like they'll rebuttal your last bar, like Charlie Clips. But not every. But he's not freestyling his whole. Actually, Charlie Clips has freestyled it his whole rounds, but he's different. Like, not every nigga's like that. You don't think Geechee Gotti might be freestyling the one two? Geechee Gotti's a freestyler as well. Okay, it's, okay. So There's that's a couple of on. them, but most of them, like I'm saying, most of them are just writing. They're just rapping ratings. Oh, fuck. You guys think, who, who's that guy that has the face tats? Daylight, the daylight, daylight. daylight. Mm. He's kind of sick, eh? Yo, yeah, he's, he's, he's a weirdo, but like he's one of the nastiest niggas, yeah, fam. He's the very outside of the box with no, the, the bars, bro. Um, that nigga is. What's his name? Hobson. Yeah, kind of. He made a song with Hobson. Uh, yeah, he made a song with Hobson. I seen it. I seen a tweet on Twitter that said Hobson was the first person to make the scare the hoes away music or some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> that should have me crying. Yo, Hobson was trying to diss everyone. Dog. I know, he tried it. Yo, but not Daylight. Daylight fam, no. Oh my God, that nigga. Yo, he said, he said, um, uh, he said, so, um, if you come with those dummy threats, think zombie sex. Shit has me fucking dead or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, and then he's like, uh, I could have used another reference than a zombie but i was dead ass like mm -hmm. yo that nigga just the way he <laughs> yeah. thinks like he's crazy i want to see him versus loaded lux that's the biggest that battle is. you remember loaded lux you're gonna get I this probably heard you're gonna get, get this work, get this work nigga. yeah i'm gonna send you that story. who's that um who's the mainstream one the one that's on wild and out conceded, conceded and yeah. then the tall brother a hitman holla hitman holla yeah is I don't he, know. was he like uh, apparently he's like the best no or he claims. Well, at a point in time, I think he was. Back in the days, he, he was. Up, he wasn't the most lyrical, but he's just just like you're talking about. Yeah. He could get the crowd, crowd involved. involved. Yeah, he, he, was crowd involved. Him, he always has bars with guns, though. Yeah, he never yeah. like. Niggas, I don't know. I thought he was kind of overrated. To me, when yeah. I first listened to him, I'm like, yo, this nigga's ass. Yeah. Like. But the more I watched him, I'm like, okay, yo, I see why he like. You have to get the crowd involved, fam. Once you get the, nigga said, then reload with the bullets that came out of him. But the way he delivers it, it's like the whole crowd just, it's much yeah. though. But who's that one nigga where he's like, yo, 
I'm trying to put my seatbelt on. It's like the oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. like it's trying to buckle up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god. He said another cut. Another cut. The seatbelt yeah. looks like it don't work, and I'm trying to buckle up. Yeah, hey, that yo. Tay Rock was one was crazy. crazy. The way he led up to that one. Yeah. Who? Yo, that whole up. battle is mad. The build ups in these bars is crazy. It's like, the build up. It's, it's, it's the build up. It's, it's dope. It's so that dope. Tay Rock, right? Tay Rock. Then there, there, there's that one where he's dissing, but the the girl, he's like you. That body bitch. Oh, you are you are <laughs> yeah. riddle body bitch. You are always trying to eat a popsicle body bitch. Like yo, <laughs> he violated her he body bitch. Crazy. <laughs> yo, nah, he like, she had to go home and cry <laughs> herself to sleep, <laughs> and nah, then wake was... up and then cry herself back to sleep. No like, fam, he killed her with jokes. Like that's the worst. Like yeah, he, just, he was a de- <laughs> that was bad. Son. Yeah, like, I, I didn't want to hear what she said to him after that. I was like, I'm done with this because even I'm offended. A lie. Somebody. Like or defend this? Yeah, like, yo, how you defending this? Like, bro. yo, she's spending it with tears in her eyes, <laughs> <laughs> trying to rap. Yo, holy smokes! No, nah, man, that's crazy. Yeah, they should have added the girls versus guys battle rap. It's not fair, dog. Oh yeah, they're gonna guys get just get to call girls all type of bitch. You know what I'm saying? You know like, what I'm saying like call them a whore. All the shit they could think of. Yeah, like it's call not them fair. Slut. Call them all types of names, dog. Some girls get the niggas out of here though. <laughs> some girls, some of, some of them, some of them. Yeah, oh, I wouldn't let a girl do that to me. No, oh, never. A shorty could out rap me, even though I can't rap. Still, you know, the hardest battle rapping women right now, Fryer. You're packing her? I'm about to find out. Battle rapping. Yo, battle rapping. Toronto girl, she can sit right here. Yo. And I'll sit in the middle. We'll be the judges. Fam, I'm going to be like Tay Rock. I like her a bitch at the end of every Every single bar. (laughs) Yo. (laughs) I'm not. There's going to be a Toronto battle rap show in our comments. Like, yeah, bring me on the podcast. I'm going to fry this nigga. Listen, any (laughs) Toronto battle rap shorty will die a terrible death in here. You better go to the states and find one of those shorties, cause these girls out here, nah, nah. Yo, there's a Toronto league, right? Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's more so like the white man's battling. Like, mm. it's not that much niggas, but the white boys are nice though. What, you talk, what league you talking about? King of the Dot. Yeah. Yo, it seems like there's a lot of. Boy, I'm see, last time a couple times I went, bare niggas over there. Bro. The niggas that are there aren't from the city. They're yeah, from they're the not, states. Yeah, they're not from Who's here, that so, nigga you, you watch know? again? He's nice too. It's the Geechee Gotti guy. That's, that's no, the next one. He faced Hitman Hollow one time. The nigga with the dreads. And he's kind of oh, big. What's Arsenal. His name again? Arsenal. Arsenal. He's pretty good. Yeah, too. Arsenal. Arsenal. Arsenal too. Yeah. Remember uh, that man, that white man from Nova Scotia? He died. Pat. Oh, Day. Pat Stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pat Stay was yeah, nice. He, was tough, yeah. he went from King of the Dot to the URL, which is hard. Yeah. No, he was pretty sick, too. Nah, yeah. I, yo, I, I used to fuck with Battle Rap Heavy still. Yeah, fuck. I love me to get in that. Yeah, that guy would still, but it says it's. I'm yeah. going crazy. So I got to fully, I got to fully commit to that shit because you can't half step in the battle yeah, you rap. Can't right? half like, step in that ring. You know, it's not even just bars. It's performance, mm-hmm. conviction. But I feel like you have that though. A lot. Yeah, yeah, you, got, you, got, that. you can definitely get a crowd going. Yeah, I can get a crowd going for sure. It's so for sure. It's natural. I'm gonna try it one day. Still, one yeah, of these days, I'm gonna try it. Just audition or whatever. Like they might have like a child. Mm-hmm. They just go there, Fact. fry up some youth, fry up the white them. boys, dog. Welcome. And who knows? You might get a call back. A lie. Smack. <laughs> I need smack to call me from the states. Bring me to New York, dog. Mm-hmm. But I'm scared to battle some niggas out there, I, dog. Them niggas are guardy with daughters on. Them niggas. A young nigga named Chess, dog. You guys know Chess. Ooh, I that know nigga Chess. Chess. Probably heard him. You, you've seen his clips. Yeah. He's mud. And he's a young nigga, like, yo. Don't worry about pack him, though. Where is he from? New York? New York? Yeah, from the Bronx. You heard? <laughs> yo. Sorry, go ahead. No, I forget his name anyway. It doesn't matter. So. I was, mm. was going to bring up a completely different topic, though. No, nah, bring it up. Speaking of New York. Yeah. Uh, you probably seen it, uh, like, on Twitter when they were arguing about, like, like who uh, who's better. Like, or, or no, here. So Americans are roasting uh-huh. Canadians what? because uh, they're like, what the fuck is a GTA? <laughs> like, they don't know what the GTA the stands GTA for. Means, okay, okay. So they were trying to roast us and like, yo, like, the fuck is that? Like, it's a video are, game, nigga? Like, yeah. They're probably, they're, they're basically <laughs> just like niggas. dissing us. <laughs> yeah. No, GTA was based in Toronto. Why do you guys call yourselves that? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're basically saying that's the stupidest thing they ever heard in their life. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> the fuck then, up, yo, man. it got into this war of Twitter beef, just like, yo, yo, we have free health care. You guys could get pregnant and have to pay like twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, like you guys are like, waste. If a man shoots you, you gotta pay like that's crazy. Yeah, bear Watch. like medical bills and shit like that. Right. And where'd y'all niggas run when y'all was in slavery, huh? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, <laughs> now Canada whack. <laughs> yeah. Back in the day, we saved y'all niggas. <laughs> Yo. <Yeah>? You. What? <laughs> what? The niggas started talking about who would win in like a argument, like a Scarborough girl or a New York girl. You I'm didn't see none of these? No, I didn't see none of these. Oh, nah, New York girl. Yeah, wash New York wash them up, though, still. Yeah. Really? Why? Fuck, Fuck, them girls are just dead for it. What? Oh. <laughs> nah, dog. We got the Jamaican girl, dog. Nah, them Toronto girls are. <laughs> they're different. Those are like though. half niggas out there. Those guys are fighting. I'm mean, New York. Though. Yeah. Different style. I feel like okay. I feel like the New York girls are just gonna like fight. Like you know, they're just gonna want to fight. I feel like the Scarborough girls are gonna talk their their ears off. Dog, right? yeah, but nah, the New York girls are talking your ears off too. But yeah, they're probably they're trying to box you at the end of it. They're trying to kick off your face right. with Tim's. With Tim's on word. They got the Tim heels. Middle of, ju- middle of July. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Scarborough girls are Jamaican. They're Caribbean. That's what I'm saying. We got the yachties. Don't forget that. It's true. The New York girls are just gonna be like what? But not nah, New York has so the yachties so, so too. So there's no yachties on uh, in, in New York. Yeah. Bro, no, no, the yachties are the same. The fam. We have nah. more authentic yachties over here. Ah, I don't know. They're New York. I don't, I don't know all about that. They have so. Jamaica. Yo, Jamaicans go to New York, Toronto, and the UK. And the those UK. are the three. Those are the three hubs. Yeah, the three hubs. I heard there's a lot of Jamaicans in Massachusetts though. Boston. And where? Boston? Boston, yeah. No way. Boston, Isn't bro. Boston racist? That's, that's what I heard. Yeah. Maybe a couple I, I, niggas. I went, on this, I went on a Dominican trip last year, and this girl, she was like, I met this little nice little brown skinned girl. Mm. She was with her boyfriend, so I couldn't like really like, you yeah. know, only when he would go away to get the drinks. Right. But anyways, she was telling me, she's like, yeah, I'm Jamaican. And we, we had the same birthday. <laughs> I think she's going to get the drinks. <laughs> I just want to throw that Every in there real quick. Every time you go grab drinks, I was like, yo. You got a quick waz. Quick waz. The man's like, hey, Jam, what do you want? You want another beer? No problem. We'll get you one. He's going to turn his back. You don't really love that nigga, do you? You don't really like this nigga. He's just about trying to trip. Come on, come on. Under the counter. Under the counter. You won't see. The nigga didn't even know his background, dog. She knew her background. She's like, I'm Jamaican. You know like most of black Americans, you ask them what their background is? What do you mean? I'm from Texas. <laughs> okay, like, my mom is from Washington and my dad is from yeah, like, whatever. But, your but, okay, but where are you from? <laughs> uh, American. Stupid ass nigga. East. <laughs> the East. The East. Yeah, like. So like the girl was like, Oh, I'm Jamaican and stuff like that. Whatever. I'm like, oh that's lit. I'm Jamaican too. So we were vibing. And then she's like, yo, like I'm from whatever, Boston, Massachusetts. And she's like, yo, there's a lot of Jamaicans. And she was saying the same thing, like, yo, New York, uh-huh. uh, obviously mm-hmm. like where a lot of Jamaicans are. Mm. And also, you know, um, we're in Florida, either Orlando or like I think is is, is there a place called Tampa? Yeah, Tampa, Tampa yeah. Bay, yeah. Florida. I think there's a lot of Jamaicans over there. Yeah, I'm in Florida, Florida yeah. too. No, for sure, Florida yeah. too. Cause like, I don't know why those spots, mm. but I understand Florida because it's near the uh, water. The water, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And it's warm over there yeah, too. Yeah, New York. Why is Jamaicans coming to Toronto and New York the coldest fucking places? Like, yeah. I don't know. Shit, probably has something to do with the time. I don't know. I guess. Cause yeah, like, no, you know. I'm telling you, Florida. Florida's a spot, though. Florida's nice. I've never Other been. than the Gators. Yeah, but, I ain't playing on. with that shit. What, what makes our yachties over here more authentic than the ones in the states? Honestly, maybe New York is probably the closest, like the most authentic. You'll find the most authentic Jamaicans. I know. But you if you're talking that. about like like America as a whole, no. We, yeah, we, our yachties are way more authentic. <laughs> yeah, but like, New York sure, can sure. compete with us. I think yeah, that's why yeah, people New York, compare yeah. Toronto. Like they make a lot of similarities between. Yeah, because it's like like no, because Jamaica also has such a big influence. Like even our slang is damn near patois. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I, I feel like that's why you say I feel I feel that, that too. Uh, Over there, in New York, their slang is not really patois. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, if anything, really. everything's Aww. dead. Suck my dick. Yeah, where my mother. Yeah, like hey, yo, where my mother. Where my mother. Where my day. My heart. I'm telling you right now, my heart. My heart. I'm gonna start using that. I'm gonna start using that. <laughs> my heart. To shorty? My heart. You know nah, they be saying that to their niggas. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Pause. Yeah. New York, get you it together. You never heard that? Let me find <laughs> out, niggas. Let me find out. That's just not sliding in Toronto. No, no, no. Bad man's over here. I know she already is. I'm on our bed. Word. What's his name? That knee on you. He got pressed by a New York nigga recently. Oh, that? oh yeah, he got because he was making fun of, of, of like his dead homies or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Oh yeah, I think I saw that. The um, neon, the, the neon, streamer. The brown you, the stream, stream. Glasses? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Is he brown? I see. Wait, see. Oh, he's something. He's a waste. Whatever. Yeah, he's a waste. Regardless, yeah. yeah. That's what you're saying. It's like, yeah, you got to apologize to my fans and shit. My heart, like. My heart, that shit, yeah. That shit oh, yeah, right yeah, yeah, heart, yeah. That's yeah. hard. That's hard. I, I, I really want to smack the shit out you right now, my, my heart, heart, but I'm, I'm changing. <laughs> yeah, my mind, my mind. I'm using my mind, my heart. <laughs> I I really want to smack the shit out you right now. You're weird. But yeah, I feel like Jamaica has more influence on the culture in Toronto and the UK though because in their speech they have a lot of patois and shit yeah, too you know I feel like but I feel like again that, that comes from just the the, the influence like the Im- immigration too like oh, I feel like okay. we have a lot of like 
first and second and third generation Jamaicans here. Oh yeah. Where it's like I feel like that's the same thing in London too, because like I got mm. family out there too that's been out there for a few generations. Yeah. It's like yo, that that slang is literally the Jamaican slang. Man, they're just coming down there saying it. I'm like, oh, yeah. wait, man, I like that. Yeah, I like. <laughs> I like that, bro. Trust me. <laughs> that you, there's a waist man. A waist man. <laughs> bro, I don't know how much times we gotta tell these Americans like, yo, go on easy, go on easy, dog. Don't say already. You know what I'm saying? Because they're, they're they stay like I was praying the. Like the argument, but I, like I wasn't repeating it too heavy. But like they just say the dumbest things. Like um, they they think Drake literally is just like I don't know the mayor or whatever. Yeah, this is of, not, of yo, like fam. Canada. No cap. They think this is Canada. This is all of us, and Drake's house is right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you, these guys like I don't know. They just have like the like like who who said earlier Toronto? Yeah, on vacation. So yo, fam, I was about to tell the story. I just remembered it. So when man's went to Vegas, OJ was there too. When me and OJ went to Vegas. Ooh. We called this Uber and whatever. It was like the four of us. So I was sitting in the front seat with this American guy, black yeah. American nigga. So the man's like, he could hear us talking and he's like, he he says we, ha we have an accent, yeah. or whatever. So we're like, yeah, we're from Toronto or whatever. Dog, the white man asked us, he's like, yo, like, so how's Drake? Like, is he a cool guy? Like, yeah, like, what's he like? Like, fam, <laughs> what made you think, like, you think we're that close to Drake? Like, nigga, we just listen to him like you niggas. <laughs> Oh like, my. the man wanted to know, like, his personality, yeah, like, what like, he eats for breakfast. Is he a good father? Yeah, like... What about his mom, even? Was, was a, <laughs> he literally asked us, like, we were, like, his brethren. Yeah, I'm like... like fam, I, was, I just said to the man, I'm like, yo, I, I guess he's a cool guy. Yeah, yeah, He yeah, makes yeah, good man. music. Trust me. Yeah, you play basketball, you're playing Drake's house? <laughs> like, at that, point, uh, at like, that point, you gotta ask him how Jay-Z is and see how they respond. Yeah, what's yeah, Jay-Z like, man? Fuck? Big <laughs> even. Like, simple niggas. Like, I'm like, yo, these guys are Americans, like, are they, like, what, small-minded when it comes just, to this? Mm. Do they know ge geography? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fam, it's only thing that matters, like, to a lot, to, no, I wouldn't say a lot, of some of them, only thing that matters is America. Yeah, that's it. And, like, some of them don't even know, like, you can ask them, like, Major cities in other states, they be like, what? Like, what? Bro, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Asking a West Coast nigga what's on the East. But don't lie, nigga, that's us know. too, nigga. We don't know what side of the GTA, nigga. What side of the Where's GTA? Where's Sarnia? <clears throat> don't okay, worry, that's not in the GTA, though. That's what I'm saying, nigga. So all we know is our little hub, too. Nah, Sarnia, <laughs> Sarnia, Sarnia, Sarnia. No, but yeah, here's the thing. North. Here's the thing, Levi. You, it's North. That, those cities is different, though. Like, I don't, I, I wouldn't expect the American to know every single major city in, like, yeah, yeah. Maybe the capital city you should know, I, but like well, I'm saying, the, the well, states. that's what I meant. Like capital I'm not gonna city. know. Like, city. like if you ask me to name a city in Quebec, I only know Montreal, mm -hmm. and that's it. Quebec City, Gatineau. That's, that's it. it. See, yeah. Gatineau. That's not. That's not the capital of none of it. Yeah, that is Gatineau. Yeah, what's no, the capital Gatineau's of none of it? In, no, Gatineau's in Quebec. I Quebec. I wasn't, I wasn't, yeah, what's none of it? Capital. Like a Calvet or something like that. Really? Oh shit! This thing, I know that. Oh yeah. yeah, we had to learn that shit growing up. Yeah. But I don't remember it though. We, are, we were actually I taught geography. I don't think so. The provinces I don't know of Canada are fun I to remember. I think, I, think, I, think, I think it does start with the I. Fun <laughs> so right. to remember. You guys are thinking, yo, test it right now, Doug. I know my thing. Ask me any part of Canada. I'm like a real Canadian. Sask uh, Saskatchewan. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> right oh, this guy's on it. Come on now. Oh, you got it right. Oh shit, nigga. I just don't know. I would ask BC, but I know you know BC. Look at the town. Where's Yellowknife? Mm, good Northwest Territories, nigga. Ooh, I'm look at the town, guys. God damn, nigga. That's why they be thinking about that about us, dog. They think that's all Canada. <laughs> they think we live a crazy death. They seen our one-two shows that showed Canada, and they're like, oh yeah, yeah. They all live in igloos. There's like yeah, a yeah, ten yeah. Houses in this in the city. <laughs> Those ain't houses, nigga. <laughs> igloos, <laughs> <The> boxes. <laughs> yeah, they also think there's no black people over here too. Yeah, Jake. Uh, Jake kind of helped us with that still with the Jake perception. Jake lays the weekend, but even yeah. to this day, fam, they still, they still like, think it. Yeah, like I remember when I was filming X on the Beach that show. Mm -hmm. I was the only Canadian person there other than like Min Lee, but I was there first. Mm -hmm. And they're like, like even the way I was talking, fam, like because like mm -hmm. to them, I, I I talk like a hood nigga. You know what I'm That's saying? They're true. like, oh, I did. With this one guy was like, I didn't know there was hood niggas in Canada. And I'm like, I'm a hood nigga. How are you talking though? Wait, like, fam, I was talking like just regular, like like the mandom. A lot. But we talk with a lot of Patois slang. He's like, yo, you, I didn't know there was hood niggas in this guy. Went on the no show. No like, 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 A lot. It's <laughs> been Nah, you guys see me on Big Brother. <laughs> what I say about the muscles? No scary. All that muscles will get you done off in the street, doc. That jab said, what do they think I'm a hood man? I don't get it. That jab treated Big Brother like it was a pet. Yo, give me your fucking breakfast, my nigga. You're not eating. You're not eating. Oh, you're a waste, you dog. I'm not going into the into the slush. I'm not eating the slush, dog. I'm not. I should have gone on my life. I'm not eating the slop. I'm not rice and peas, fuck. All right. I don't care if you're H O H. That's my room, dog. <laughs> Yo, where's the shotties at? Where's the shotties at? <laughs> you guys were more Toronto than I was a no, big brother. 
Yo, yeah, that's that's right there, huh? yeah. brother Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> well, nah, when you get angry, dog, you can't hold the, the, the you know what I mean? Bam, the Toronto just comes out and the patois, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that you make it too. I like it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know what? <laughs> yo. But yeah, no, they're basically yo. saying, like, yo, we didn't know there was, like, hood niggas in Canada. And like black people in Canada, I'm like, brother, I'm like, you don't listen to Drake. You don't. I'm not saying Drake was a hood nigga, but I was like, but still, but they're saying even black people in general. I'm like, you, Tory Lanez, nah. Drake, The Weeknd. They're thinking about Yellowknife, dog. They're not thinking about Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> thinking about so you Yellow think Knife. Drake lives in the igloo? Yeah, they, yeah, they think Drake. Yeah, that, that's how he came up. So from the bottom, now we here. Now we here, nigga. <laughs> they said this nigga. What an amazing story. He came up from an igloo. igloo. Now he's in a mansion with a basketball court. He's amazing. <laughs> Tory Lanez, like, <laughs> yo. Yo. I don't yo. know. Americans, they just, they just, they need to, I don't know, do some research. Yeah. Because Google's free, you know? I also think that may, might be why Drake got in a lot of beefs and Tory and shit, because they just thought they, niggas are soft coming out of Canada, you yeah, know? They're also fucking up the game, too? Yeah. Oh, Travis yeah. Scott tried to with Tory, and that nigga almost. Hey. hey. <laughs> this nigga made him apologize live. Right, did, they, did they clock themselves in the room and scrap? Yeah, I found that. Oh, you just drape someone. Yeah, yeah, sure. You're talking to that. I swear they scrapped from, from B-Town, name, Doc. What was his name? <laughs> August, August, August. Flower City, nigga. <laughs> Nigga, nigga, Tory Lane sat outside the hallway for the dap. Nigga walked past Tory said, what? Oh, what? Hold up his past and locked him off. Tory Lane don't play that. Yeah, Why these niggas from the two-faced capital yeah, for real? Yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah. nigga, the Tory said, what? Yo, what? I bet. Uh huh. Yo, yo, August. <laughs> and he has the Napoleon complex, complex too, dog. Yeah. Come on, don't play with that nigga. I read it. That's why Megan got that word. Shut up, people in lean. Tall bitch. I'm talking America. Who are you talking to? At bitch? the 40th episode, that's where we at. It's <laughs> <laughs> the 40th and last. <laughs> Nah, the brutal. word the Americans now nah, they're they're fucked. So even the other day when I was at work too, I was gonna say this one lady. She came up to me because I was working at the bar at the, uh, that shift. So she was like, "Oh, this is my first time in Toronto or whatever. Mm. So like diverse, you know, it's very cultural here. It is." And she telling me this is her first time flying internationally. Americans don't leave America too. Yeah, they don't, fam. And she, she literally, and the thing is, she's older than me. She's in her 30s. She's like, I just got my passport like a month ago. Oh, You're God. just getting your passport? Gang, yeah, but really, really and truly think about it. Why do you have to leave? Leave. That's, that's what I was just going to say. You live in a state that gets winter. Come, I'm going to Miami. Florida, right? Yeah. I'm going to wherever else. I'm going to LA. Yeah, that's yeah, the whole yeah, world true. to them. Yeah, true. You <laughs> live in LA, like, okay, y'all want to get a change of scenery. I want to go somewhere quiet. Go up to fucking Utah. Mm. <laughs> like, you know, you want to go see mountains and snow? Go up to Utah. Go up to see, Denver. Like, a desert. Go to fucking go to Arizona. Arizona. Like, fam, you literally have everything there. It's true stuff. West Coast, East Coast, like mm. the different you vibes, see some different cultures. Races, mm. you know, get with the. Get off my lawn. Yeah. Go down south. You'll see that. Like, and it's just like Canada. Everything. We don't got any GTA. No, no, it's just like Canada, where it's like if you're flying domestically, all you need is an ID, bro. Where, oh, you need, yeah, fam, I can, every time I went to Kelowna, I just used my driver's license. Say I, I, you, don't, you don't need a passport. Yeah, That's yeah. cheap, right? They're like 80 bucks. Not to Vancouver. Yeah, Vancouver is expensive. No. BC so. is pretty expensive. Like Alberta is pretty expensive. Honestly, yeah, it's everything expensive. When everything was shut down, when I was flying to BC a lot, those times it was two bills, one bill. Mm. But now everything sparked back up. Like, like what, like four bills? bills? To Probably. go to Kelowna in the summer because Kelowna is hot in the summer. Like everyone yeah. goes to Kelowna. Everyone's going there. Yeah. It depends where you go. Mm-hmm. It just depends where you go. Oh, if you're going to fucking Winnipeg, okay. but yeah. even to go from Toronto to Montreal is fucking like three bills, fam. Really? That's so, crazy. On a plane. Mm-hmm. I think that's why niggas driving. Niggas be driving there, nigga. Shit. Yeah. Fuck. I think I'm saying gas, no problem. Uh-huh. I don't know how how Americans' prices are. Where it's like if you're flying from like the east to the west. Mm-hmm. That's probably. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I don't know their prices, but like all they really need to be honest is like identification and it doesn't have to be a passport that's Probably, lit if you're, so. if you're a u.s citizen like but that's the thing that's why they don't leave yeah but that's it nigga we don't have no reason to leave the gta where are we leaving like you know other than maybe montreal uh, or like bc but it's like nigga we're going to colder places i'm trying to go somewhere warm that's what i'm saying if you know what i mean if we were a big country like that where we had like yeah other so climates that's and, a, at least below the equator too yeah. i'd forward Adam, we wouldn't we wouldn't go nowhere else we'd be like yo let's say let's say like for example Kelowna was summer all year long winter time i'd be like yo let's go to Kelowna. but now nah, we're also yachties like you know like we have the background of no true so it's like we want to go check that shit again like the americans all of their background they like you know it's just america yeah, yeah fam, for years so yeah i seen the, 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 also on twitter they were saying the majority of canadians wish they were americans Huh? No, I wouldn't say that. Dope, that's exactly, yeah, that's I wouldn't exactly say that. Like I, I, I'd say like, yo, they have more opportunity. Like, if you're an artist and shit, you're gonna want to be in the states. Yeah, that's a what man, opportunity a man, is. A Toronto man did say that. I forgot the tweet exactly, but he was saying like, honestly, like, 
like if you want to get farther in life, America's the place to be. But at the same time, opportunity uh, there. At the same time, yeah. every every other country's thinking that same thing. Fam, America is a dogfight like anywhere else. Yeah, but like it's true. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to like man that are getting put on are already in circles. Like for example, Nav, Nav made the beat off back to back. Man didn't even know that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Nav was already plugged before he really started popping off with... You sure it was Nav or was a nigga from Pine Ridge that made that beat? No, it was no. Nav and that. Nav, and Nav, Nav was yeah, on yeah, the yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah. Sorry, there was, there was more than one person. Yeah. Like, Nav was already doing producing, ghostwriting, stuff like that. Facts. Like, you, like, you know, like, you could make it, but it's just, it's going to take work. It's more competition, like, yeah. but it's also more consumers there. True, uh, yeah. America's like, you know, the consumer hub. So it's like, I feel like that's why it's more opportunities. And they all kind of support each other too. Like Atlanta, New York, New York niggas, Atlanta, like N not really New York. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. New York niggas, they like as of recent, yeah. They'll the say like New York niggas will say, "Yo, the best rappers are the New York niggas." You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. coming up as artists, I feel like they don't yeah, really they're yeah. beef. They're kind of like us, like yeah, doggy you know? dog, doggy dog, yeah. Like yeah. But if you're asking, yo, who's the best rapper? They're gonna say New York. Like you know, we started this shit, whatever. Toronto yeah. rap scene could be good, but all our rappers are fucking dead or in jail. Yeah, like. All of our rappers are really we're like, stuck. like we don't have really fake hood rappers. I don't think that much out here. Niggas, niggas really, are really like, what they rap, yeah, though. like it's different. Like, <laughs> yeah, niggas, you guys really just kind of rap. I mean, at least the ones that make it are getting noticed. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I was vexed when Houdini died. Yeah, it's oh. pissed. Uh. Vex. Trust me. Yeah, Houdini, Houdini. bully, bully, bully too. Vex, bully too. Fam, fucking, who's the um the main nigga from? From the city, for, I think he's DT or whatever. For example, even Smoke Dog. Look how Smoke, Smoke Dog. Dog was. Smoke, Smoke Dog. Dog was fire. Probably would have been out of here too. No. It was he sounded like Coke Boys or some shit like that? You, before you even linked up with Drake, he did he was, something like that. He did like, something with French Montana or some shit like uh, that. Um, no, nah, who knows, dog? But, anyways, um, yeah, what do you guys. Uh, genres, dog. Yeah, genres. What do you guys' favorite genres? Or every man's gonna say rap. What's your least favorite genre then? Country. Country, why? Right? Least favorite genre? You know about Big Green Tractor, dog. I don't know nothing about my chicken fries. There's a one two. There's a one two. I'm not uh, saying country's bad. Grandpa's never die. I don't know all no, these tracks, man. Bro. We don't talk I'm about to say things. like opera. Is that a is that a genre? Opera? Opera music? <laughs> or is that just a, that's not a, that's a genre? That, I think I think I think opera would be. I guess opera's yeah, kind of a genre. Yeah, I'd say opera. If that's then. the case, then I'd say opera then. Opera. Yeah, you know what I mean. At least I don't know opera. I mean, I guess that's the probably only genre I don't bump. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, like there's that. some banger country. There's some, banger. some bangers in country, but you said least favorite. That's why I said country. So you see, you like rock better than oh heavy metal. I don't I don't fuck with heavy metal. What? Heavy metal. Screaming shit. Yeah, yeah. Wake up. Screaming. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You want to do? They be, they be torturing <laughs> niggas uh, playing that song in like <laughs> Afghanistan and shit. Like that's torture music. Niggas be playing that shit. Like, yeah, did you ever play WWE games growing up? Okay, they had a one two. Cause yo, don't edge. Edge. Oh, this is beer the trash. NA, that's oh, fire. Yo, I know you like WWE. That's heavy metal. Is that rock? Yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, what's heavy metal then? What I was just singing, the like screaming system the of a, song is heavy metal. Of the down, down, yeah. System of a down is like fucking heavy metal, I think. Yeah. Screamo and shit like that. What like. about like uh, Mariana's Trench? That's like just rock. That's like rock. Yeah, yeah. that's rock. That's rock. Heavy rock. There's and different kinds metal. of rock. There's but soft the rock. Between rock, I feel and like, like Headley. Headley has like a, a rock heavy metal. Heavy thing. metal is just screaming and just loud oh, and just. Heavy metal is like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like demon. It's yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of like it's basically like some demon music. It's some demon shit, dog. If you bump that on your way, some Make sure you're alive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Make sure that yeah, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm crazy, dog. Like, oh. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> you need to try some Kirk Franklin after that. Come on. After that, people think I'm going to need to change yeah. up the vibe real quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's another one. Gospel's fire, too. Gospel's, so gospel's fire. fire. No, gospel's fire. fire. Right, gospel's fire. 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 You guys hear the gospel or drill music? <laughs> Ooh, what? Gospel like, there's like, there's like, there's like, there's no, like they this, don't. Yeah, no, they didn't. No, no, it's there's, not like, it's not like, not like, obviously, like, drill in sense of like talking about like crimes and stuff the like style. that. Like, the, the, the style, beat, yeah. the beat, but they're crazy. rapping on it. Yo, some niggas are the vibes, I'm right, right, making so. that. I don't know, man. Making that word go. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's some crazy. of them are right. <laughs> That's crazy. But there's some sick Lecrae. He's a sick gospel rapper. But like, Drill, I don't know, nigga. That's kind of <laughs> like, you like about out of jail beat, dog. Like, great, I catch my gospel. op Satan. <laughs> yeah, catch my op Satan, then I kill that nigga. <laughs> nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, but yo, honestly, drill, like, I listened to it way back still. Like, I remember when drill first, first started. Like, yeah, you were a drill advocate oh, yeah. still. Oh, Joe went you were you advocate. Gotta, you got to specify Chicago drill. Chicago, Chicago, drill, was Chicago, right, yeah. Chicago started all the drill shit. Bro, I remember there was one time. 
Man is sleeping. Sleeping on the couch, fam. Headphones in. <laughs> Different. Fam, I'm hearing loud ass little J drill music bumping in the mask in straight murder and destruction. <laughs> That's why. The mask having the most peaceful, peaceful sleep. Peaceful. <laughs> this is exactly what I said yesterday. Peaceful. Murder and destruction in his ears. Sleeping, <laughs> drooling, now. That's wild. He's he's fighting, he's fighting, he's fighting, I fighting know what demons. kind of you were having, <laughs> yeah, this dog. Nigga was, <laughs> was worn with demons with the music. With little J in the dream and shit. Look at that. Hey, no, no, Hey, hey, no, Diddy, 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 no, but low key, UK probably took the drill from Chicago first. Mm. I think so. What did they nah. take from? What, 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 I don't what, think so. You don't think so? Styles kind of different, bro. Yeah. What did no, they take? No, no, no. New York kind of made no. it more saucy. Okay, but look, Caesar, listen. You have to remember, Chicago literally came up with drill. Like Chief Keef, all them niggas. Like mm -hmm. they literally like started drill music. UK then like kind of like follow suit, but they made their own like beats. That's why it sounds different. Their beats were like kind of mm -hmm. like a different beat, different style and all that. Then New York came in. Now they're kind of mm -hmm. like running with the look away right now. But what is drill music then? Like how do you define drill music? Just cause they call it drill. Like, you know, what, 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 what makes that, what makes drill separate from other just hood rap? Like, you know what I mean? What is it about? I mean, it's just, it, I, I think it's the beat. It's mostly the beat. Because once you hear that beat drop, and it's like, it's yeah. it'll be silent for a little okay, bit. Okay, okay. And it's go boom. And then they just explode on the track. Okay, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's not the most lyrical songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. The, okay, beats, it's the beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. flowing on the beat. So, yeah. And the, the topic is obviously not the best. It's like, uh, you know, yeah, of course. Violence, you gotta girl. You got to appreciate I'm, it for what it is, though. I'm assuming yeah. drill music is what they put on to do drills to, you know? So, oh, it's shit. Listen, fam, I would like, even though I did bump it in my sleep. Now it's like Good. I'll listen to Joe and I'm like about to like when I was
But uh, yeah, you know, 40th episode. 40th yes. episode, man. We're here, you know. What I'm More to come too. <laughs> Let us know what you guys want us to do. I know we're supposed to do um, like different activities every 10, but you know. Yo, yeah, drop in the comment something. section yeah. what you want to see us do, like or talk yeah. about, like you know. Inter- exactly that too. Yeah. Want to get more interactive and right. especially leading to the fiftieth. Fiftieth is probably a bigger milestone. Yeah, yeah. Talking, like let us know. Like we could even do like some like live, like actual like Instagram live, like Q&As mm. and stuff. Like mm, yeah. you know, get, get really interactive with our fans. Exactly. Like, Things that I love the comments, the DMs, and keep engaging with us. And we appreciate everybody. Shout out six hundred subscribers on YouTube, mm. and we're on we're on Spotify 600. too. Don't forget about that. And <clears throat> yeah, shout out OJ. He was a big part of it. He's not here right now. Right. But, you already know what time it Shout is. Shout out the boy. Yeah. Any any last words, man? No, man. We love you all. Hello. We love you all. Have a good night. Subscribe. Y'all subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. 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 Subscribe.